welcome to Really Random Rants. Uh, I've been Alex. And I'm Coffee Cheetah. Oh, uh, I'm going to move over. <sighs> Today we are talking about different characters that should be getting their own TV shows. For superheroes, mainly. Uh, yeah, uh, live action. Yes, live action shows. We're going to be focusing mostly on DC. We might get a little Marvel in there. I think that they should come out with a little I've Hulk. TV show, by they the way. did that a while ago, but that was that was old Hulk. Okay, anyway. first DC one, obvious, Batman. We yeah. haven't had one since the sixties. <sighs> Gotham doesn't count if you're thinking, well, Gotham came out because Gotham, Gotham has Bruce Go- Wayne, but yeah. it has no Batman. Gotham is a prequel, just showing what the world was like of Gotham before Batman was there, and how villains got introduced before fully finishing their origin. They're probably going to end up having Batman in Gotham. Maybe, but they they want to end the series with Batman putting on the cow. Cow. And then... Cow? Seriously? Yeah, I'm going to put on a cow! (laughs) Have a cow on my head! I'm Batman! There's a bat cow. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, you state your case about Batman. We haven't had one since the sad 60s TV show. I know that that's based off of the comics. That's based off of, the, off of the 60s comics because of the fact that, you know, the 60s comics were a lot happier because they felt like they had, because of the World War II, and they wanted and to be happier. Yes, and because comics back in the day were uh, starting to get banned for superheroes because of being too violent. So they really? had to make, yeah, I'm super, excuse me, didn't know this. So they had to make the things lighter. Then they started getting Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen. I'm sad. Superman's family. And they started giving Superman the one rule of truth, justice, and the American way. Just because he had to stand for something and he has all these friendly lines like, don't smoke. (laughs) That's so much friendlier. Because he's telling you not to smoke. Yeah, so much friendly. Anyway, uh, so... Ow, buddy. But yeah, Batman hasn't gotten a live-action show for a long time, and... We want something dark and brooding. But not too dark. Good we want, we want for one, like, for um, uh, what's his name? Kevin Conroy? Yeah. We want something maybe, like that. Yeah, maybe, I mean, maybe PG-13, but, like, uh, not too dark. Good enough for okay. kids. Think but Val Kilmer kids. for a TV show. You've never seen it before. No. But mm, all of those people who know what you know what I'm talking about, you are so awesome. Anyway, so that's Batman. We think he should get a show. Uh, the next one, I think he should get a show. Captain Adam? Uh, well, he is a great character, but I'm going to say pass on him for what I'm going with. Okay. Place. I'm going to go with, uh, and actually a Marvel character now, so I am going to say a Marvel character. Human Torch. Now, before you go and think... He does leave the fan for doesn't he? Before you go and think, I'm talking about the Fantastic Four one. He would, that would make a great show with him and Human Torch. However, seen as, uh, they're making, uh, uh, Fantastic Four movies, they probably want to keep him for that. So, um... This is the Human Torch that Marvel still owns the rights to. Now, however, they could not call him Human Torch in the show because they would probably get sued. But they could call but, him Torch. Yes. So, similar to Green Arrow, just Arrow for the show. Wait, they don't own they, the rights no, to Arrow anymore? No, they have the rights to Green Arrow. They just call it Arrow. That's <laughs> sad. Um, Except Red Arrow is still Red Arrow because it would be like, no, Arrow, they, come they call, on, they Arrow. Call, they call him Speedy. Oh, his old name. Yeah. Do they call him Speedy? I, yeah, in the Flash episode, they call him Speedy. No, they don't call him Speedy? They do. He, he they calls him Speedy in one episode. They call him Red Arrow, right? I think. I heard Speedy. Anyway, so they would call the show Torch, and this would be a, a show that could connect to the Marvel Cinematic Universe and could potentially have Chris Evans crossover in maybe a few episodes okay. as Captain America. Ah, yes. yes. Now, here's why. Or uh, not. Uh, we really why. don't give a yeah. crap whether it's connected or not. Here's why. It, if it connects, 
this, uh, there was a human torch who was from the 40s. Uh, not, I don't think he was created then, but he was, took place in the 40s. Um, they actually showed his costume off in Captain America the First Avenger. Um, he was created by a man named Phineas Herbert. Dude, uh, I, love, I, I still love that name. I, I, I don't, I'm never going to get over that name. And so, uh, basically he had the powers to turn into fire, your, um, and I don't think he was pretty much like Human Torch, actually. I don't like think that Firestorm is the Human Torch. His hands and hair catch on fire. And well, his face catches on fire too. Anyway, but, um, but so anyway, he teamed up with Captain America a lot and helped uh, stop crime, whatever type of crime was around in the 40s and helped in World War II also. So that could make a great show. Could also have ties to Agent Carter. It could, uh, they could make a Namor series, which we are not going to talk about. However, he would make a good show. He's uh, Marvel's Aquaman. I just thought something and really And they could cross over too. But yeah, I think that that should be a show. Okay, my, my next one was, I had one. Captain Adam? What was it? Who was it? Is it DC or Marvel? It was DC. At home? Oh, no. It was one that we don't know about. The most... Who was it? Oh. Gone Man? Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, it, it's something that most people know about. Manhunter. Martian Manhunter should have its own t t TV series. Yeah. That would be bo boss. That would just be like... Yeah. Because, like, they have lots of... They like the idea of police officers being undercover. Mm -hmm. As superheroes, that's sort. Of, that's pretty much what Man Martian Manhunter is, and they get to do a sci-fi alien movie. What TV company doesn't want to do that? Most that, of them. That would be great. I think they should do, and that would be a great show on sci-fi, the network sci-fi. I know it couldn't connect to uh, the Arrow and Flash universe. However, that would make perfect sense to be on sci-fi. But you know, like you have. Martian Manhunter, and he's just like... Now, I hope that they do their, his true form most often, because what? of the fact that his true form is like... Do you think it would be more of a prequel, so take place on Mars, or do you think it would be on Earth, him as Martian Manhunter? Maybe they, maybe it would be about the war between him and the... White Martians? And the White Martians. That could make it good. That out. would be a good show. I think, though, I think that would be, if they were to do that, a first season, because you can't just have the same war going on the whole thing. I mean, yes, you can, but you would, you, people would want the war to end, obviously. So definitely a season one would be the one Martian. Yeah. Martian. And then he would get moved to... Earth for season two. That would be perfect. And become John Jones. Yes, instead of John Jones. <laughs> John Jones. Well, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's very... That's helpful because of the fact that I can go as John Jones and my name is John Jones. That's so helpful. Um, and I learned every bit of English that I know from a TV. Yes. A little TV. <laughs> yeah, um, that's so realistic. I think that would make a good show, though. I agree with you. Um, ooh. Ooh. What? That would make a good show, however, I think... It would be mostly Plastic comedy. Man, yes. Plastic Man, if you got a show, he actually did get a show a while back which was live action and cartoon. However, if you were to get a show, I think it would be more of a kid's show, because Plastic Man is a comedy character. So it would be it would be sort of like the old Batman series, yeah. but live action. Wait, which old Batman series? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, but live action! What? what? I'm talking about the old Catwoman being like this! <laughs> That was horrible. And a green costume with a white mask. Makes so much sense. I can't look. Yeah, no. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, uh, what? So, I guess, um, that's all the time we have for now. So, I guess we will do another episode, say more probably. Maybe we can turn this into a part two. A two-part episode? Possibly. Yeah. And I think possibly. there's definitely lots of content we could have gone into. Let's do Yeah. So, uh, I yeah, guess... Yeah, I don't want If you ever want ideas for, like, um, uh... If you ever want information about, like... Anything comic-related, actually... 
just put in a comment and we'll we could do an episode try, about try it. to do it. Yeah. Um. Anyway, we're still running the contest. If you comment hashtag Deb did it first. You're in the drawing for the really random rants uh, pillowcase, which is double sided. It has the, the our original sun and the lightning. The lightning. It's oh. this way. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, so uh, please like, comment, anything you want. Uh, share the video. Subscribe and live, live long, long and prosper. prosper.